Hello and welcome to today's episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Here is our question for today. Should I buy a high quality guitar now or later after I get better? That's an excellent question. We have answered the similar but not exactly the same question in the past. So I decided to work on this issue again and explain some things. Now, let me start by saying the following thing. You should buy a good instrument sooner rather than later. And why is that? Because using a good instrument to learn is part of the process of getting better. I will give you a short story from my own experience. When I was young, I was like around 17 or 18. I was already playing guitar for a few years and I was playing uh, electric for a couple of years. So I had already started to outgrow the very, very basic beginner instrument that I had. And one of my teachers helped me choose a guitar. Now that guitar had a good sound, but had a very bad playability. And that led to a very interesting uh, problem. The problem was that even though I was practicing, I was not able to get a good uh, feel on the guitar and develop my technical abilities. And to tell you the truth, I was considering that maybe I didn't have it. Maybe I wasn't destined to be a good guitar player. Happily, I accidentally, totally by accident, I found uh, a guitar that I liked and uh, a used guitar. I actually found it in very bad condition, so I bought it used and uh, for a good price and had it uh, refurbished and everything. And this was a good guitar, it was a very nice um, Ibanez Iceman guitar. And then on this guitar, I started practicing. And after a couple of weeks, I immediately started getting better. Now, it wasn't very difficult to understand that the problem on that specific case, at least, was not with me, it was with the guitar, the previous guitar. So I immediately I sold it and I kept the higher quality instrument as my main practice guitar. By using this higher quality guitar, I was able to develop my playing very quickly, which means that had I stayed with the other guitar, not only would I have not developed as quickly, but I maybe I would have had, uh, given, give up on guitar. So, to make a long story short, having a good, a decent guitar, a high quality guitar, is part of the learning process. It's not a reward you give at the end, after you have learned. Think of it, uh, to give you another example, think of football. If you have a football team, the coach will never say, okay, you guys, if you win the championship, after winning the championship, we will get you good shoes so that you can play better. No, they would buy the shoes so that while they're playing for the championship, they will do their best. And this is exactly the best way to see it in your guitar playing. You need a good instrument to help you get better and to invest in the, yourself and in your time. Now, the usual problem most people say uh, that they have is the is risk, again. Now, the usual problem that most people will have is financial risk. And uh, that's actually not a real problem, but most people will think that if you buy a guitar, the money is lost. It's, not, it's like uh, getting, I don't know, a, a, a meal or getting uh, an expensive wine and drinking it. No, after you buy a guitar, the money is invested on that guitar. Which basically means that if for some reason you decide that you don't like the guitar or that you decide to stop playing guitar, very few people do, but let's, for the sake of argument, let's say that this happens, then you can sell it. And if you have followed my advice and bought a used guitar, which is what I usually would suggest and uh, tell my students, I actually help them buy a used guitar most of the time. That means that if they sell the guitar afterwards, they will have lost very, very little money. So for example, if they buy a used $1,000 guitar, they can sell it after a couple of years for $850 or $900, effectively renting a guitar, a high quality guitar for two years for a cost of only $100. So really, the money is not lost, it's just invested in something else that can be sold afterwards to get your money back. 
So, what I would suggest is that you do buy a quality guitar, see if you can have someone help you buy a used high quality guitar, and this is going to be the optimum uh, circumstance. You will have a good instrument to play, and then if for any reason you want to sell it afterwards, you won't lose pretty much any money on it. So I hope this helps on the specific uh, subject. It's important to have a good high quality guitar when you're practicing because it's going to help you get better. Keep those questions coming. I'm having a lot of fun answering them. And uh, from what it seems, you are also having fun sending new questions to me. And I'll see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Bye bye.